Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of Biofilm Minutes. Today we are going to talk about oxidizing and non-oxidizing biocides and their use in the industrial field. We are going to see why it is important to sanitize industrial plants where water or other liquids are used. What are the most commonly used sanitation treatments? And finally, we are going to see the main differences between oxidizing and non-oxidizing biocides. So let's go! In a liquid environment where water is used, bacteria proliferate very easily. So in all industrial plants, it is important to prevent the uncontrolled growth of these microorganisms. They will likely deposit on internal surface of pipes forming biofilm thanks to the production of extracellular polymeric substances. Biodispersants are chemical compounds that react selectively with EPS. They expose bacteria to an external environment, thus increasing the effectiveness of biocides. They are completely biodegradable and do not lead to the formation of toxic byproducts. Biocides are chemical compounds capable of destroying or inactivating an organism. Being potentially dangerous to the environment, they are regulated by stringent laws, both as regards the dosage and the maximum concentration allowed at the discharge. In all countries, there are laws regarding the use of biocides, constantly updated and implemented. A wide range of biocides is currently available on the market. There are several parameters to take into consideration, cost effectiveness, compatibility with systems, and the choice must be made on the basis of the specific application. It is not possible to accurately predict the outcome of biocidal treatment. For this reason, biofilm monitoring is the best approach to verify the effectiveness of the treatment. Alvim sensors offer the possibility to monitor the growth and elimination of biofilm. Oxidizing biocides are the most widely used for water treatment, as they offer advantages. They are cheap, act quickly and are effective even at low concentration. They are very reactive and can also interact with additives, contaminants or other organic compounds. They are also effective against a variety of microorganisms. The most important disadvantage is their tendency to corrode metals, and they are affected by changes in pH and temperature. Their mechanism of action is based on re redox reactions. The biocide is reduced by acquiring electrons from the organic bacterial molecules, which then they oxidize. They may be lipids, proteins and fatty acids, thus undergoing an alteration of their structure and functionality. Some oxidizing biocides react preferentially with the layer of EPS. Other biocides instead penetrate deeply, eliminating the bacteria that make up the biofilm. It can be said that the reactivity towards the EPS is inversely proportional to the penetration capacity of the biofilm. The most common oxidizing biocides are compounds based on chlorine and bromine, ozone, hydrogen peroxide and pyrocytic acid. A treatment with oxidizing biocides increases the value of the reduction potential of the system, a parameter that the alum sensors are able to detect, thus allowing to verify the correct dosage and the distribution of the biocide in the system. Another sanitation method is based on the reaction between oxidizing molecules. For example, the reaction between ozone and a hydrogen peroxide generates the hydroxyl radical, the strongest oxidizing agent used in sanitation treatments. 
or ozone in aqueous solution is exposed to UV. The radicals have the advantage of not forming harmful byproducts. Nonoxidizing biocides are compounds that act against a bacteria with different mechanism of action than oxidizing ones. They prevent duplication, interrupt the respiration, or they damage the cell wall. They do not induce a redox reaction and are less reactive. However, they have a tendency to accumulate in wastewater, becoming dangerous for aquatic flora and fauna. Non-oxidizing biocides are generally small molecules, such as quaternary ammonium and phosphonium compounds, organic compounds containing bromine and isotiazolinums. Bacterial proliferation with the consequent biofilm development is ubiquitous and affects all applications where liquid are present. The disinfection of industrial plants is essential to limit as much as possible the spread of bacterial contamination and the microbiologically induced corrosion. As we have seen, thanks to their different reactivity with EPS, oxidizing and non-oxidizing biocytes can be dosed in combination to create a perfect synergy that allows both an economical and an environmental advantage. Preventing the formation of biofilm is certainly the best way to prevent the onset of other problems. To carry out a correct detection tool in real time. Furthermore, it is able to detect the presence of oxidizing biocides and to verify their effectiveness. If you are interested in the topic, you can visit the web page at the link above to find out more. If you have any further questions, write us or visit our website. We will be glad to answer. Goodbye, everybody!